You're watching Big Red Journeys, and we're at SeaWorld San Diego for Spooktacular 2022. So for today's schedule, we're here on a Sunday, the second weekend of Halloween Spooktacular here at SeaWorld. Uh, the park, or I should say the SeaWorld portion of things, closes at 7, because at 7 o'clock is Hallow Scream, which is obviously the more frighteningly fun version, which I'm going to link to my video that I was able to be here for the first day on Media Night. Um, I'm going to link that right here for you to check out if you like. So uh, everything here for the most part, the trick-or-treating and the uh, spectacular little dance area is here till about 7 o'clock. So, but they said that they may pull out the candy trick-or-treating a little bit earlier depending on how the crowds are, but that's more of a kind of like a management decision as the day goes. So it looks like we got a limbo contest going on right now. This is the main hub of the Halloween Spectacular dance party area. This is going to be on the back side, just to the right of Manta. And if you go up that way a little bit further, you got the Sky Ride. So they kind of give you uh, an area of where it's going to be at. And look at these little trick or treats having fun. For the Spectacular, there is free trick or treating around. You don't have to be a kid. My experience is. As an adult, you have fun. I, I fill up plenty of candy bags and it, you just have a great old time. They usually have a good amount of candy. But I've been hearing a few rumors that unfortunately last weekend, so they make you, they don't give you the reusable bags anymore. They haven't done that for a couple years. But I heard some people, some guests saying that you had to buy the bag here at SeaWorld to even be able to do the trick or treating. So I kind of wanted to put that to the test to see if that was true. I actually brought my own reusable bag. We're going to see if they wanted to do that. I don't know if it's 100% true, but we'll find out. For the trick or treating is just go up to the tree station, put your bag right underneath the shuttle, and there you go. Thank you. And I will do it. Well, that worked. I got my candies. We ended up getting two gummies. SeaWorld is known for giving out like two or three candy pieces each time you go through. But the beauty part about it is you can go around as many times as you want, and the lines are relatively short pretty much all the way through. Right now, I'm about to go through the same line. There is nobody there. So literally, I could go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and fill up this whole bag in one tree station if I really wanted to. And if you did forget your bag, if you do need to purchase one, there's all over the different stores, but here they go in for $3.99. And they have a very different ones. Here you got all the different characters. You got Royally Sweet with the dolphin, cutest little pumpkin, the patch of the harbor seal, Captain Candy with the great white shark, and where is the candy with a beluga whale? And here is another trick or treat station. This one's next to the old uh, Surf's Up Arcade. So let's see what they have here. And we had, uh, looks like, oh, the Mexican candy pops. Nice. So you have to have a great splash here at Halloween Spectacular, and no other better way to do that than to meet a mermaid. Hello there. Now, what kingdom did you swim here from? Uh, I walked here. Is that okay, though? Oh, well, I don't have human legs, so I wouldn't know how that works. So anyways, I came here. I didn't I didn't bring anything to give you like last time, but I did have a joke for you. Can I tell okay, you one? Is yes, that good? I'm okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, great, great. If mermaids could live on land, what country would they live in? Hmm. Human snack land? That's my favorite. Ooh, I, that's actually a very good answer. I like that one. No, but the correct answer is Finland. Oh my goodness. You have bubbles in your brain. You're so smart. You know what? You're the third person to say that to me before. So yes, it makes sense. Oh wow. Sense. Have you met other mermaids before? Uh, no, but a doctor and a psychiatrist once told me that. Huh, interesting. I don't know what those are, but they sound fun. Returning for this year, the hay maze. Let's go check it out. I heard it's a more improved version of it. And yes, it is. Look at this. It's now three bales high. Oh. I can still see over the top though. But if you were a little kid, look at that. So before it used to be two bales and now it's three. So let's see what we can do here. Oh, there's nobody here. We're gonna go take a right. And nope, that's a dead end. We're gonna go back this way. Okay, we're gonna go back this way. Going forward. Take another right. Nope, dead end. Okay, back out again. Going, okay. Ah, little pumpkin. Okay, going this way, another pumpkin, okay, there's a route over to our right, we're going to go straight, and, and up, dead end, so now we're going to go back this way, 
we're going this way and now we'll go to the right and nope dead end again okay one more time we'll get this we're gonna get it okay we're gonna go right over here this way up oh, there we go going this way yeah let's, let's go left Yep, dead end, okay. I'm not very good at these mazes. One more time, going left again. Nope, back up, back up, back up. Okay, well there's only one route more, let's go. Pumpkin witch, going, going, go, and, oh, and look at there. We made it out. I will admit, I'm not very good at those mazes. They confuse me, too many rights, too many lefts. Oh, our third tree station of the day is right here next to the fall festival at the waterfront let's see what they have this time around oh uh, we got starburst love it and again this is the uh, fall festival at the waterfront pretty much it's just the waterfront all year round this is open it's a great place they've been adding more chairs and tables um every every time i come here i always see a little bit more progress but one thing i just remembered is that this is all brand new to me because the last time I was here and showed this area, it was during the craft beer festival, and this was all still under construction. And look at this, very nice. The stage is still right over there, that's the same. They'll have like a, a music, musical acts every now and then, usually like acoustic guitars. Um, but now they have a, a food truck over here, and look at what they got, let's see. We got the waterfront. Looks like they offer boneless buffalo wings, Korean barbecue wings, mango habanero wings, mac and cheese bacon bites fries chips sodas and water very nice oh and of course uh, an assortment of beverages we got here ciders beers sodas very nice great of this uh walkway area now so now you can connect used to be that was the only entrance in but now they have this entrance on the back side of the two cans and leads right up into the uh bayside sky ride next tree station is right here next to the old dippin dots store so let's see what this one has to offer. Trick or treat. And looks like we ended up getting uh, some, ooh, sweet tarts. And then new for this year at the Mission Bay Theater is a gazillion bubble show. I've been hearing great things about it. It's a can't miss. So we're gonna catch the last showing of the day at 5.30. And do keep in mind, if you are sensitive to flashing, theatrical lighting and effects, haze, lasers, this show may not be the one for you. But if you're up for it, I heard it's a great thing. So we're gonna go check it out. And then also make sure to get here when the door is open. We're about 10 minutes away from showtime and and it is pretty much a packed house. Again, only about seven or eight minutes before showtime and I'm finding just a few seats here and there.
Maybe it's not such a good idea to sit in the front row at this show. If you do end up sitting in the first row, or at least the first second, first or second row, be prepared because these machines at the very end for the grand finale, they're going to blast on you and blow you with literally a gazillion bubbles. I counted every single one of them, trust me. Well, that was certainly a fun show. That, I, even though I saw bits and pieces of it from other videos, I still didn't, wasn't 100% ready for the final grand finale. But kids are going to love it. Hell, I was an adult and I loved it. It was fun. It, there's a little bit of science behind it, which me being the nerd that I am, enjoyed it. So definitely a show to not miss if you're here in ha at Halloween time at SeaWorld. Definitely catch it. And here's a good little map in case you need to know where all the uh, spectacular tree stations are. We've pretty much done all of them yet at this point. So the one, the first couple of them are going to be near the base at Amphitheater. You got number one, number two, number three. Four is going to be by the Sky Ride. Five is by Manta, which we did first. Six is going to be next to the Mission Bay Theater for the Gazillion Bubble Show. And then the final one at seven is going to be just to the right of the Sea Line Amphitheater. And one more tree station here next to the Flamingos. Let's see what this one has to offer. Brick or treat. Oh, Butterfingers. Love it. And one more snack station here. Oh, I should repeat that one more time. Take two. One more tree station here in front of the Fresh Market next to the Sea Line Stadium. Let's see what they got. Ah, oh, Smarties. Sounds good. And we accidentally skipped this one earlier, but we found it. It's right here next to Nala's Amphitheater. Let's see what they got. Uh, and some Smarties and some of those Fruities, or whatever they're called, Fruitsies. Okay. Making our way over here to the shark encounter because it's a it's fitting for Halloween, right? The fear that people have in sharks, very misunderstood creatures. Except I will say one thing that's unfortunate is that they did not decorate for Halloween time. Normally they always have, you know, jack-o'-lanterns, a thing about like pirates and skulls and whatnot, and they're not even decorated. Yeah, look at this, not even the the pumpkins or the jack-o'-lanterns or nothing. It usually puts like some spider webs and things and it's not even decorated. What gives, SeaWorld? Come on. Well, that is unfortunate. I mean, I don't know if SeaWorld is listening to this video. I don't know who needs to hear it, but if you want to compete with the big guys, you have to do the small things right. And that includes decorating during special times. I don't think it costs too much or it takes too much time out of it to put a few jack-o'-lanterns Something that used to be right here. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong Not a hundred percent sure. I think this has always been here, but I could be wrong. This could be part of the spookiness of uh, Shark Encounter Yeah, I'm starting to I'm starting to remember the blue It's a little hard to see right now, but I'm starting to remember the blue can kind I of being part of the spookiness of the spectacular time so but let's see up oh, okay good good so they at least did the um ominous music all the little spookiness music and they put the blue in but they still used to have like cargo netting and spider webs up in this area so they kind of went a little bit but not full blown and that is new it looks like we have a uh a shark cam a viewing area oh, that's pretty cool I don't know where the camera is for that we'll have to try to figure out where it's at where okay there so let's see if we can get some angle oh, okay There's Trevor's friend over there, just floating around. Watch for step. Be prepared to walk. I always appreciate what SeaWorld does here for this time of year. They always put up some nice ofrendas. 
and representation of the Dia de los Muertos. Always love these beautiful ofrendas. I am I am a little disappointed in the lack thereof from previous years. They only got the three ofrendas, but they don't have the Catrinas or the anything else or the even the well they actually got the papel picados up there. But that's it. It's kind of a little lackluster compared to previous years. You can purchase. They actually do have the spectacular the pumpkin hunt here. It's going to be at the main SeaWorld store. Here's the front. We're in the, the SeaWorld rescue side. So it is $15. You get to, here's all the stickers, and you're going to try to find the specially decorated pumpkins throughout the park. So, and then when we turn it in at the very end, we're going to get a prize. So I'm going to show you some of where the pumpkins are. I don't want to ruin the whole thing for you because obviously what's the point in that you got to have some fun but i'll show you a couple where the pumpkins are to give you a head start to get you started on the pumpkins here's one that's literally right outside the store it's the beluga whale made it down here to the orca encounter the viewing area because i found out that there is a pumpkin down here let's see if we can find it it's a bright orange thing i'm sure it's not that hard to find out oh there it is looks like it is the shark one more down. We might have to send an SOS to find this pumpkin. I heard this one's a little bit hard to find, but they said to look up is what they told me. You gotta look up. I don't know, I don't see it there. I don't see it there. I would imagine it had to be relatively kind of visible, wouldn't you think? I mean, kids are playing this game. Well, there it is. I'm gonna zoom in as best I can, but there it is on top of the crow's nest. Looks like it is the penguin. But I don't know how that penguin got up there. They can't fly. We found them all. Again, I'm not gonna show you where all the pumpkins are at because I want you to have some fun. But we're just gonna go back inside the store and redeem it to pick up our prize. And of course, they're gonna avoid it for you so you can't redeem it again. But I guess there's these four cups that you get to choose from. So this year, they're nice. We got a uh, candy corn penguin feeling corny uh, a ballerina queen princess dolphin that's uh, royally sweet oh, looks like the superhero great white shark that says here to save the candy and oh, a witch turtle look at this which way to the candy how cute well I think one's gonna speak to me more than anything because of the color right well, that is going to do it for this journey here at SeaWorld San Diego for the Halloween Spooktacular 2022. I had a great time. I hope you did as well, too. It's fun to always come here, check out what's new or the same. That gazillion bubble show, that was definitely the piece de resistance of the whole event. Definitely worth coming just for that alone. So, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up for me. Second, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And third, hit that notification bell. We got a lot more adventures coming our way, including some more Halloween events. Christmas just right around the corner and New Year's. And of course, follow me on social media at Big Red Journeys on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. So for me to you, thank you, happy Halloween, and I'll see you on the next journey. Bye-bye now.